Denner. This is the third time the government has extended the state of emergency. It was introduced after the failed coup in July. The law gives the government sweeping powers to enact laws, limit or suspend rights. Despite growing calls for the law to be lifted, the government says it's still necessary to ensure stability. The state of emergency does not target our citizens. It targets the ghoulness who infiltrated the state and those who try to harm the country. Since placing Turkey under emergency law, thousands of people have been arrested or fired from their jobs. The authorities say the detainees were colluding with US-based businessman Fethullah Gulen, whom they accuse of being the mastermind of the attempted coup. Human rights activists warn the state of emergency casts more doubt on the future of democracy. There are problems and human rights violations with regard to the torture and ill treatment, freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, freedom of media, right to work, right to education. After years of economic expansion, Turkey is struggling with a rise in ISIL attacks a decline in tourism revenues, rising violence in neighboring Syria, and strained ties with Europe. Experts here say the state of emergency sends the wrong signal to international investors. One of the most immediate results of the state of emergency is that foreign investments wouldn't come to Turkey, simply because investors are now worried about the general environment in the country. The extension of the state of emergency comes at a delicate moment for Turkey. The nation remains divided over the outcome of the referendum, giving huge powers to the president. Supporters of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan say the changes to the constitution will usher in prosperity. The opposition, though, is warning against what it describes as growing autocracy. International human rights organizations have asked the government to reverse its decision to extend the state of emergency. Their biggest concern is that the law might deepen the political divide and lead to further clampdown on opponents of the policies introduced by President Erdogan following the failed coup. Hashim Al-Bara Al-Tazira, Istanbul.